about the quarantine facility. We've more or less figured out what caused the mutation in the vocal cord parasites. It was the radiation from that scanner. And the one who installed it was Emmerich. I've added a tape recording of the interrogation. You should listen to it. Please select a mission. Well, Doctor, I have the report on the incident at the quarantine facility. Assuming the vocal cord parasite evolved, I'm sorry, underwent a mutation. The only plausible explanations are exposure to some high concentration mutagen or radiation. As you know, some of the staff at the quarantine facility were infected with the parasites. The Wolbachia prevented them from copulating, but the parasites themselves can't be removed from their host's vocal cords. Once you're infected with Skullface's parting gift, you're stuck with it. The researchers regularly used X-ray equipment to monitor the parasites in their throats. No problem there, they kept a close eye on the radiation doses. But that equipment didn't just give off X-rays. It was also emitting beta rays. Even though that's unnecessary for the scans. See, beta rays have far worse effects on DNA than X-rays. Meaning the only logical conclusion is that someone added in a beta ray emitter to trigger a mutation. Those beta rays leaked out from inside the equipment. Because the emitter was retrofitted, the shielding was inadequate. And the person who ordered and inspected the equipment was you, Doctor. That makes you the only person with the opportunity to install that emitter. So now you're saying I sabotaged medical equipment for some wild plan to make the vocal cord parasite kill everyone? Or maybe you thought it'd reveal a way to treat the parasite without using the Wolbachia. With that much to barter, I suppose some people would welcome even a pathetic cur like you. Just stop it! You'd have no shortage of buyers, but most would be happy with just the parasite. You wouldn't need to offer anything else. However, if that buyer already knew about the parasite, they'd also know that by itself, it's no longer the ultimate bargaining chip it once was. To sell to that buyer, you need to throw in a bonus. A way to one-up it. There's only one buyer who'd be after that. <laughs> Emmerich, we record all communications on Mother Base. That includes radio transmissions to and from homemade devices. You've been in frequent contact with people in America. A private biotech company. A client of which is DARPA. And they are connected to Cypher. You made a deal with Cypher. You offered them a new parasite in exchange for your safety. This is the only place in the world where the vocal cord parasite still exists. And you used it as a testing ground. Tried to resurrect their bioweapon. But your plan to obtain the parasite has failed. Your bullshit ends now. And don't think you're leaving here alive. Nine years ago, this man acted as accomplice to the attack on Mother Base. He then provided support to Skullface. Conspiring with Eli, he repaired Sahelanthropus in secret. His research materials caused the leak at the quarantine facility, which in turn caused the Walbachia mutation, letting the parasites off their chains. We lost a lot of good men. He also stands accused of murdering one of his own family. Hiding the body. I haven't killed anyone. The rest is all wrong, too. The inspection was supposed to help everyone. I sacrificed myself for my companions just as much as any of you. Why won't you believe me? The prosecution calls a witness. Strange 
Loves Gravestone. Haunted by her phantom. It's just a machine. Machine. You forced your own son into the cockpit of a Metal Gear, a test subject. How? His mother had to hide him away, and for that you locked her in that coffin. No! She, she did it herself! It was suicide! And even if I did, what right do you have? There's more. We have you to tell us everything you've done, everything you've thought, all this time. Nine years ago, you agreed to the inspection in return for Cypher's guarantee that you'd be spared. I thought it was real! We've reviewed into everything else that's happened since you arrived here. Please. Guilty! All counts. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! We exist outside the law. What should we do, boss? Just give the order. We'll handle the rest. Prepare a life raft. Big enough for one. Food and water, too. Us. He's leaving. You... He's responsible for... For all of this! Think of all the men! He didn't lose a damn thing! This is the enemy! And he's here on his knees! Us. You are right. He is not one of us. But we are not responsible to judge an enemy. He leaves Mother Base, and that'll be the end of it. Can't discard your phantoms forever, Doctor. Son of a bitch will make it, you know. I can see it now. In no time, he'll be telling tales about the black hearted diamond dogs. The shining white knight, blabbering on about our injustice, hiding behind his fool's idea of morality. And all the other fools will stand around, nodding with every word he says. No. One day he'll see through the lies he's built up, realize what kind of man he really is. What goes around comes around. You can't run from yourself forever. 